Hello YouTube and welcome to another Virtual Worlds tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be taking a look at this amazing uh, program, software program that's available for free to download and a link will be in the description called Awesome Bump. And what this program allows you to do is upload a normal texture i.e. a diffuse texture and then go ahead and create a normal map, a specular, a roughness and the rest you can go ahead and create them I'll show you quickly how to use it what you do click on this 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 icon up here with the arrow pointing up it'll open up your dialog window you just search for a texture so if I go to desktop go in here and I'll choose this brick wall one then when you have your texture selected what you want to do is make sure you're on this tab and come down to enable preview and then click convert because it'll get rid of the old data in the image that might get corrupted it just gives you it just tells it that um, it just converts it into all the different texture types from roughness, specular and normal map and the rest so we click convert give it a second and there you go what might happen what you might have to do because it's a bit buggy you might have to after you've converted you might have to bring in your no, uh, this same texture again it seems to have worked fine that time I'll we'll just quickly convert again just to make sure it's, go it's going to work. This is your normal map. You've got some options you can play with here. First of all, we want to click back on Enable. So we don't have that selected click on this tab that's your normal image this is your diffuse image this is your normal image this tab I forget I think it's your specular and your roughness so what we're going to do is leave your diff diffuse texture alone you don't need to edit that click on the next one down that's your normal map then what you can do is you can increase a normal step to get more definition I find maximum helps and sharpen and blur put that say something like five well that's a bit too much say about just one or zero details depth say about 0.75 and see if this does anything enhance details no, you don't want that. Let's see what I'm wondering, see what that does. One will be fine, that gives it more definition. And once you've done that, put it down here. This is your specular, I think. Or maybe your displacement map. I think it's your specular map. So you click down here, and the ones you want to take advantage of the surface details and the one you want is contrast you don't want to turn up anymore you don't want it that that bleached you want some sort of definition you want it quite light something like that maybe turn down the amplifier You can feel free to experiment with this and if we come down to the roughness map you've got other tabs here for different other types of textures click on roughness and then it's fine you click to get this activated go to surface details and click on enable and then you probably want things like contrast turn it down a bit 
I'll turn it back up. Amplifier. So that's about those two properties. Then when you're ready, click on the, click on every single tab that you've created a texture for that you want to export. So you do it in order. You can do it in any order you want. So I'm going to click on normal map. So then all you do is click on this one here where it says save current image. Click on that and it'll ask you where you want to save it and it'll give you the name of your diffuse texture that you uploaded and it'll have an underscore and it'll have a naming convention n means normal map then you go ahead and save that i won't bother so i don't need to and then to speculate this again click on the tab and then click on the save and as you can see it says brick wall one underscore s for specular and you repeat the process for all your different texture types that's it youtube if you've enjoyed this video at all please comment like and subscribe thank you very much for watching and have a great day audio jungle